Third time right now on the Tour de Trump, Thomas Craven still the leader. Greg Orovitz of the Coors Light team in second spot. Soviet rider sliding in there in fifth place. And on the starting ramp right now, Alexi Graywall. Few riders are as controversial as Alexi Graywall every year. He adds something new to the legend, and this year is no exception. It is here in the Colorado high country that Alexi Graywall has always flourished. He finds strength, both physical and spiritual, from these mountains near Boulder. But in the last year, he's found a new source of strength. Oh, Christ in me. <laughs> I am different. I am definitely different. Um, not by what I did. Because, you know, I didn't do anything. <laughs> you know, by, by what God did, by what Christ did for me, I, I'm different. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, and in the past, which is fortunately is in the past, <laughs> and I know, you know, I do my best never to look back, you know, because it doesn't do any good. In the past, you know, I have been the curio. I have been, you know, uptight. I have been, you know, I've lost my temper a lot. Uh, you know, and that's really due to, the, you know, the way I grew up and the conditioning that you're put under by the world, you know, conform you it does to everyone my whole existence as a person just centered around whether or not i could you know blow their doors off in the bike races and when i didn't you know it was a big blow to me and, and i my whole existence was well i gotta win i'm gonna do this i gotta do that you know and and therefore you know a lot of that stuff you know i mean the stuff that was written about me it's not they're not lies it's mostly true i mean almost everything that happened happened you know <laughs> But that's in the past, and the past is in the past. A rider who more often than not has chosen his own path now has the world cycling stage from which to prove that he is indeed a changed man. Few people have moderate opinions on Alexi Graywall, but no matter how you view him, you must admit the man is interesting and he is someone that everyone in cycling loves to watch. He seems a little looser this year. Look at him working the crowd, Brian. We've not seen that before in Prologue from Alexi. Well, we've seen him work in the crowd, but it's usually been kind of the other way, uh, a little bit negative perhaps, sticking his tongue out. Uh, and worse. Alexi Graywall on the course. Now, you know, again, the conditions. Uh, Alexi is not a favorite in the prologue time trial, but he certainly is one of the danger riders overall in this event. I think we cannot discount Alexi Graywall and the one-two punch of him with Greg Lamont on the same team. No doubt about it, Brian. Uh, there aren't any hills to speak of in this prologue, and Alexi is not a prologue specialist anyway. I think what he wants to do today is just get into the race, prepare himself to support Greg Lamond in the days to come. Alexi Graywall, you can see He's riding very smoothly, working hard, but but here he's a little tentative. He sees a turn coming up. He sits up to watch and wait what's happening. He's out of the final turn and to the finish line. Over five minutes is time. 4.34 was the time for Thomas Craven. So Alexi Graywald is 71st at the, at when he goes across the line at 5.07.99. Alexi Graywald will not be on the leaderboard today. We'll come right back from Albany with the Russians. Drawing very close now to the midway point of this second road stage in the Tour de Trump from New York City, where they started earlier in the day, to eastern Pennsylvania's Lehigh Valley. Alexi Graywall, we're watching him closely, was at the head of the pack moments ago. There are a group here of about 14 or 15 riders that have separated themselves from the rest of the field, and they have obviously done so, trying to get as much distance between themselves and the overall race leader, Vyacheslav Ekimov. We saw Ekimov have the problem. He had to have the front wheel replaced. He's been battling to catch up with the main pack while this group tries to ride away. And we're into some rugged terrain now. The road has become much more narrow, the narrowest we've seen thus far. There's water on the road, and it appears to be rough pavement. All of these are factors, Cliff, that could enter into the strategy of this competition. Evidently, Alexi got the word from his teammates that Ekimov had a problem. He had that wheel change a little while back. And right, he took off. He was the guy that initiated this break. He's the one that's been pushing it. And we only have one Soviet rider in there, uh, Nilubin. And he doesn't appear to be strong enough to get up in the front and break up this. We see him in the red jersey now on the left of the screen. He's the third from the back. And he is not strong enough to disrupt the rhythm here to enable his teammate Ekinoff to get back up. Alexei Graywall, of course, is a man noted for one major achievement five years ago in Los Angeles. He was the gold medalist for the United States in the Olympic competition. 
and Alexei hasn't had a strong... When Alexei Graywall practices his violin, he knows painfully that to play well requires timing, coordination, and feeling. All these elements came together for him once before when he rode what he calls the perfect race, winning an Olympic gold before the home crowd in Los Angeles in 84, the first ever U.S. road racing gold. It was the greatest race that I ever ridden, maybe that I'll ever ride. Uh, but when it was over, all the excitement and all the pleasure and everything that I got out of it was over the second I crossed the finish line. You know, and then the, basically then the, the trappings of the world just flew in. The press attention that focused on Alexei, combined with the rising expectations of the cycling world, changed what should have been a happy time into trauma leaving Alexei feeling cornered and looking for a release. A new car can make you happy, winning a race can make you happy, a good dinner can make you happy. At the same time, losing a race can make you sad. It's circumstance dictated. And I didn't want to be circumstance dictated all my life, so I started searching and I looked at Buddhism and I looked at Rajneeshism and thisism and thatism and I wanted to find out the truth. Though he never finished high school, the obviously bright gray wall took his search for privacy and escaped to this A-frame house in the mountains north of Boulder. The house is simply furnished. The only thing you find in the living room besides the stereo are Bibles. Bibles that have become important to Alexei in the last year as a newly reborn Christian. If you want to know the truth about the whole situation, it's all written. And it just, for me, it brings incredible comfort and incredible peace because I know where to find the answers to any problem that comes up. Since his gold medal in 84, Alexei has had his fair share of problems. He signed with a top European team after the Olympics, but never really fit, contracted hepatitis, and was forced home. He joined an American team that took him to the Tour de France with high expectations, but they were unfulfilled as he had to abandon the race. In last year's course race, he was back, serving as the player coach of a new team and battling his old teammates across the West. But again, angrily and painfully, he came up short. Now this year, he has a new team and a new teammate, Greg LeMond. The question for Graywall, after all these years of frustration, does he have it in him? And can he perform for his new bosses? me to win races and be a contender. They didn't hire me to show up and finish 51st. The unpredictable Alexei now has the Tour de Trump. Will he play to criticism or applause? There, into the concert. So we continue to watch Alexei Graywall having a good day thus far in this second road stage of the Tour de Trump. He is among the leaders who've opened up 22 seconds on the rest of the field. It's a group of 14 or 15 and Graywall stays right near the top. Here's his Coors teammate. This is Alexei Graywall, Olympic gold medalist of 1984. The time behind reflects his overall placing in the standing. He has not been a factor this week. As we mentioned, sickness and illness has been uh, something that the Coors team has had to live with through the early stages. All now feeling much better. Alexei hoping that perhaps he can surprise some of those today and challenge among the leaders. He was one of the early men to leave and is now well out on the circuit. You can see the waters in the background. They're just literally, in some instances, blocks away from the Atlantic Ocean.